Ever since Andrew Wiggins came into the league, people have had very high expectations for him. However, since his rookie year, he has been very disappointing, and for the most part, most people have started to consider him a bust. But, so far this season, in the early part of this year, he has looked very impressive, and he has even looked like the player that a lot of people expected him to be. In today's video, we'll talk about Andrew Wiggins and whether or not he is actually good. Let's get right into it. Like I said before, Andrew Wiggins has been very disappointing ever since he got into the league, and there's a lot of criticisms for that. He seems unmotivated, a lot of people have called him not a hard worker, a lot of people have said he hasn't lived up to expectations, which is all true. He hasn't improved pretty much at all since his rookie season over these past four or five seasons that he's been in the league. Also, he hasn't been a very good teammate either. If we're going by Jimmy Butler, if we're going by the other guys that have played with him, it doesn't seem like a lot of people like to play with Andrew Wiggins. He just seems like kind of a lazy guy. And it seems like every single season, expectations get lower and lower and the faith people that have in Andrew Wiggins gets lower and lower as well. This year is Andrew Wiggins' sixth season in the league after being drafted number one overall in the 2014 draft. He is only 24 years old, so it's pretty crazy that people are already calling him a bust, but like I said, it's his sixth season and most of the time in the first five seasons, we start to see glimpses of players potential whether or not they're gonna live up to it and obviously so far Andrew Wiggins has not on his career Andrew Wiggins has averaged 19.6 points per game 4.3 rebounds per game 2.2 assists per game on 44% shooting so looking at those numbers you wouldn't think he's that bad but Coming into the league, Andrew Wiggins was expected to be a superstar, and I think a lot of people even expected him to be a superstar within the first few years of his career. He got drafted number one overall by the Cavs, but with LeBron returning to the Cavs that year, he was traded to the T-Wolves, and I think that is where the problems kind of started. I don't think that the T-Wolves was the best situation for him, and I'm not going to blame the situation for Andrew Wiggins' shortcomings so far in his career, but... I think that the better situation for him to develop would have been the Cavs had LeBron not returned to Cleveland. But like I said, those stats, those numbers are definitely not bad, but for a guy with the talent and length and abilities that Andrew Wiggins had, definitely disappointing that he hasn't been better. Despite having the first five seasons of very disappointing play, and most people calling him a bust, most people writing him off, Andrew Wiggins, surprisingly, this season has really stepped up, and I think that his numbers reflect that. So far this season, he's averaging around 26 points per game, 5 rebounds per game, 3 assists per game, on 47% shooting from the field, so he is up in every single category. He's starting to look like the player that we thought he would be when he came into the league, and his numbers are actually productive as well. They're actually impacting the game. In my last video where I talked about sleeper candidates for MVP, I gave Carl Anthony Towns all the praise for carrying the T-Wolves, but that was a mistake because Andrew Wiggins has definitely been a big part of this and his step up play, him stepping up, taking on this bigger role, living up to the expectations that people had for him has definitely had a big impact on the T-Wolves and it has definitely contributed to their early success so far this season. While his offense has definitely improved and he definitely looks like a much better player, Andrew Wiggins is still not the best defender and you would think a guy at his size with his length with his athleticism would be a very good defender but I think that the main issue for Andrew Wiggins is his build definitely not the biggest guy he's a little skinny but despite not being that good of a defender I think that his effort on the defensive end this season has also improved a little bit even if it doesn't show up on the stats even if he isn't getting more steals and blocks I think that as he improves on offense as he puts in more work on that side of the floor his defense will improve as well even with Andrew Wiggins increased production and increased usage 
He is surprisingly being the most efficient he has been in his career. He has had a career low in turnovers and a career high in field goal percentage. And obviously it's early in the season, but this is a new Andrew Wiggins we are seeing. He looks better than he ever has before. And if he can keep it up, and if Carl Anthony Towns can keep up the stellar play that he has been putting on, I think that the T-Wolves are a legit playoff contender in the West. And I think that if they can both develop and keep this going past this year, they could definitely be a finals contender if they can add a few more pieces in the years to come. Andrew Wiggins overall just looks more motivated. He just looks more impressive than he has been. He just looks like a brand new player. Honestly, I had lost faith in Andrew Wiggins after his fifth season of being disappointing. But like I said before, he's only 24 years old. He's not even in his prime yet. And if he keeps putting up numbers like he has earlier in this season, I think that Andrew Wiggins can live up to the star potential that people saw in him when he was drafted. Thanks for watching this video. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed and make sure to leave a comment as well. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.